More than 2.8 million people flew just this past Sunday for no reason. I mean, we've been waiting for a while for this weather to break, too. I guess, so I, I think guess. people are anxious. Um, as millions prepare to travel, those flying out or into JFK Airport in New York may be in store for a few delays. The airport is currently undergoing a massive $19 billion redevelopment, and that's hoping, hoping to modernize the decades old airport. Sam's it's pretty. It out. What do you I'm think? So it out. I like it. I mean, it's right. a pretty Does design. it meet your standard? <laughs> Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman because she's at Kennedy right now with this big announcement as the Port Authority is giving us an update later on today on, on the construction. What do you know, Lindsay? What, what's expected? Yeah, Mike, Charlene, Sam, as we are preparing for that record breaking travel weekend for this Memorial Day holiday, we are also learning more about the progress and any updates to this major redevelopment project at JFK. And major is major, $19 billion redevelopment project, in fact, that we have known about for a few years and that has been underway for a while now to renovate the nearly 80 year old airport and build new terminals to accommodate the many passengers that pass through. This year, they're expecting 64 million million people to fly in and out of JFK Airport. It's going to look a little bit more like how LaGuardia looks right now. Of course, that had a major redevelopment project that finished up a few years back. But here's the updates that we do know about and that have been under progress for a little a couple years now here at JFK. There'll be new terminals with a unified layout connecting them all. And that also includes international terminals. There'll be a redesigned on traffic on airport traffic pattern. And I'm standing here alongside the road. Uh, you can hear the cars driving behind me. There will be expanded taxiways, which is also good news for flying traffic, as well as centralized ground transportation options and more. That being said, though, because of all this construction, there's going to be some trouble getting into and out of the airport, especially with the record breaking amount of travelers we're expecting for this unofficial kickoff to the summer. So some travel tips that airport officials are uh, providing include just allowing extra time on the roadway. That could be a major problem. Use public transportation. If you have the option to do so, check JFK's social media and just use uh, caution when picking up and dropping off. So we will actually be getting a tour shortly of the new developments that have been underway for a little while now and learning more about what to expect, particularly when it comes to ground transportation. As you can see, there are cars coming in and out, but it will be a lot busier this summer. Um, as for air travel, what we're expecting, record-breaking numbers here at JFK as well as other Port Authority airports, 3.5 million people expected nationwide to to pass through TSA checkpoints. So if you're planning to fly, I would keep that in mind. Guys. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Mm -hmm.